and it is 531, so we will call the meeting to order. Uh, we'll do a quick roll call. Alderperson Ackley. Is Betty online? Did you see her? Betty, are you there? We'll go on to the next. Uh, Alderperson Phillips. Uh, we'll go back to there. Uh, Alderperson Savaglio. Present. Alderperson Sorensen. Here. Alderperson Ackley, are you online? Okay. Uh, Alderperson Phillips. <laughs> okay. Uh, do, who else is online also? You, anybody else that's online, please, uh, one at a time, please state who's on. Chad Solicek with City Development. Thomas Cameron, Assistant City Attorney. That is from Okay. Um, well then we'll start out with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. Liberty and justice for all. Okay, and in staff in the uh, here we have Dave Buell, uh, Ryan Sazma, Joe Curlin, and Mike is back there. Also, and we also have uh, Mayor Vandersteen here and Don Sokolowski. Okay, uh, two point one approval of the minutes. There is a uh, correction in the minutes. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, the uh, I'll, I'll just read the minutes as amended, and we'll go from we'll, and see if you guys. Uh, there the motion by Alderperson Sorensen, seconded by Alderperson Savaglio, to waive the park rental fee for the Juneteenth Day celebration. Before action was taken, motion by Alderperson Sorensen, seconded by Alderperson Savaglio, to amend the motion to instead instruct staff to pre prepare the appropriate document to waive the park rental fee for the Juneteenth Day celebration. Motion carried. Motion by Alderperson Sorensen, seconded by Alderperson Savaglio, to recommend the Common Council instruct staff to prepare the appropriate document to waive the park rental fee for the Juneteenth Day celebration. Motion carried. So, we will be, we'll be amending the minutes to reflect that. So, do I have a motion to approve the minutes as such? A motion to approve the minutes as amended. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Uh, any other discussion on this on the minutes? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Minutes are approved. Okay, 3.1. GO 2024-2021. November 16th, document 6.1. Ordinance creating a handicapped parking stall on the south side of Heller Avenue, east of North 16th Street. Mr. Chair, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm going to uh, have City Engineer 
Ryan Sazma come up and uh, give a further detail and explanation for this request. Okay, thanks, Ryan. Um, the Sheboygan School District contacted the Department of Public Works. Uh, they're looking for a handicap parking stall out in the street. This is at Jefferson School. Um, Jefferson School has no parking lot at all. Everything is on street parking for the parents, for the teachers. So like I said, they're in need of a, a handicap parking stall. And the reason this ordinance is here is because it's going to be on the street. So that's, that's what the quest was for. Okay, pretty simple. Yeah. <laughs> I'll move for approval. Motion, motion by Ryan, seconded by Marcus. Uh, any other discussion on that? All in favor of that? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Resolution 125, 2021, November 16, 2020, document 4.8. Resolution up adopting a master plan for JC Park in RO 107, 2021, November 24th, direct referral, submitting a recommendation from the Board of Marina Parks and Forestry Commission to adopt the master plan for JC Park. David. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It, um, I'm gonna have Superintendent of Parks and Forestry, Joe Kerlin, uh, okay. come up with me. Uh, he was instrumental in coordinating this and, and guiding this process with our consultant as well, working with key stakeholder groups, as well as the Parks and Forestry Marina C Commission. Uh, this evening we have some slides. We just wanna give the committee a, a, a kind of an executive summary of um, the highlights of the plan. And uh, if you would. So, it, you know, the park is, has been in existence for, you know, it was a quarry. It was a, a, a functioning quarry uh, for many, many years. The city purchased it in 1943. And in 1963, started, a, started to actually convert it into, you know, parkland area. There was numerous uh, additions uh, as well as master plans over the years. And, uh, and several elements of those master plans were, were implemented. Um, probably the, the biggest that, uh, that we, we, we had was, if you remember, the, the JC water slide. Uh, that was very popular. It was one of uh, the few early in, in existence. And uh, actually, the plan was to actually expand and, and, and build upon it. Uh, that never happened, unfortunately, but, but uh, over time, uh, it became uh, tired and it needed to be, be, it was becoming unsafe. And after, you know, about 25 years of, of operation, it was removed uh, in, in the swimming activity with that not being there. Uh, it needed, needed some, some energy and some, some rebirth. So part of that is we, we've been fortunate to partner with uh, some private operators to provide some swimming uh, apparatus and uh, re-energize and activate the swimming area with a private vendor. Uh, it's, it's been a great partnership. But during this, this short time with working with the private vendor, the, it, it's become evident that um, the quarry is, is a real gem for our community. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's, it's under, underutilized and underappreciated and, and um, with this master plan process, it became quite evident that this could really be a showcase uh, piece of our of park system as well as our community, as well as support um, tourism activity in, in the community. So as part of this process, um, Joe and his staff, along with Grafe engineers and architects, went through a process and they, they did some inventory analysis early on. They, they looked at what is existing, what, what's, what's at the park today. We know we have the swimming area, we have the, the shelter, so forth, which is kind of, during the summer months, it's the headquarters for the swimming operations. During the winter time, it's used for public. So it's a dual purpose. Uh, it's an older facility. It's been renovated numerous times, uh, but unfortunately it's just, not the most conducive to both activities, either for a, a shelter for park rental for 
events or for a headquarters for swimming operations. We have the Frisbee Gulf that's along there. We have numerous trails for uh, passive and, and active recreation. There's, there's a dated playground that is available. So some of this, through this process, they identified what was existing today, uh, what needs repair, what, what needs is help. And then the next phase was engaging with, with the community. Who are the, you know, who are the key stakeholders? Who, who uses the park? And, and others that would love to learn more about the park and, and learn what are the opportunities. So Grafe, along with Joe and his staff again, met and had several key stakeholder meetings about, hey, what can we do here to make this a better community asset? Uh, for not only for our local residents, but potentially maybe draw from outside uh, because of the, its size and its uh, unique characteristics and natural environment that could really be leveraged into making something great that could be a draw for the area outside of the city, for instance. So as part of this, they, the, the consultants, after taking all that information in from from the, the key stakeholders and learning what, what, what the needs and what the wants were, came up with about three to four alternative designs and can, concepts. And they're real broad based. And what you see tonight are just some you know, things that are examples that are, are throughout park systems and available as kind of a, an ID generator, an idea generator to visualize what could be potentially uh, rebuilt or, or, or imagined at the quarry. Then after those concepts, there was another round of meetings. Again, Joe and his staff in meeting with the key stakeholders, the, the consultants, kind of summarized and there was a ranking process where we actively had members go up and, 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 and say, what's your number one uh, deficiency or what would you like to see in terms of an added feature and so forth. Through that process, there came a natural progression of really about a little over a dozen, dozen and a half uh, items that are really focused on for future master plan uh, development. So that's what some of the numbering uh, nomenclature is within the, uh, the master plan that you have in front of you this evening as well. We would go to the next slide. So one of them that really came out was, you know, this is a beautiful area but it's really not known and not really seen and, and utilized to its fullest extension. And one of the things was we really could use a community center. Similar to what we have at D-Land Park or at Kiwanis Park, for instance, that's a year-round facility that is specific to rentals for the public, in other words. And, and today we don't have that again, where, because it's seasonal. The, our current facility there, it's small and it's, it's uh, used for summertime for the headquarters for the swimming operation, so it's really not available to the public. So in order for the public to actually rent a space, uh, have an event there, have a family picnic, a reunion, a graduation party, a wedding, for instance, there, we really don't have a facility that can use that natural backdrop and that natural beautiful spot at the quarry. So one of the things that came out right away was we need a dedicated facility. And that's what this is. Now, this isn't what it's going to end up being. This is just, a, again, a visualization, a concept. This is high level master plan, but they wanted to, the, 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 the consultant group wanted to visualize and say, hey, we could have it overlooking. It could be a lot of glass use that as the natural amphitheater backdrop. So that was one of the, the, the key items. Some of the other areas, they, they talked about enhancing the beach and, and, and reactivating that and getting that more, more um, energized and, and more user friendly. So they talk about a new tiki hut or a little uh, shelter area. And this would be in this location of where the, uh, the former water slide was. Today even, the ruins, as I would call it, the foundation is kind of still there. Uh, it's just kind of no man's land. It's, it's just um, an afterthought because it was expensive to consider how do we take out the foundation? What do we do? Uh, and we didn't want to get too far into it without having uh, a plans for the long-term future. This is an idea, again, Tiki Hut could have a concession stand. They talked about maybe a beer garden in there. Uh, again, it could be maybe just a rental spot for, for picnickers that uh, want to have a birthday party at the beach. 
and have uh, swimming as long. So again, another, another opportunity there. There's several items, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's things about enhancing signage, in, in, uh, trail improvement. Uh, I'm, I'm, what I'm focusing on is some of the more bigger capital items that are in the master plan. Again, here, here would be a, another concept of maybe uh, an open shelter with an open fireplace that could be used for rentals and uh, have, uh, again, a little bit separate from the beach area. It could just be a, another area. Again, maybe taking that, maybe not building a shelter and maybe just having a fire pit. Again, using it as a, a place to gather and uh, recreate and have, have a nice, nice atmosphere around it. <clears throat> so last, last slide is just kind of a, a grand kind of overview. It kind of shows where in, in the south side uh, where the current playground is and some of where the Frisbee is is where they're proposing maybe this grand uh, rental um, pavilion, in other words, along with re redesigning the existing uh, main shelter, make it open, make it, make it a little bit more conducive to the operations. Again, adding glass because right now it's kind of a barrier. It's a concrete block building and it really blocks the beach as you're driving by. So ultimately, the, this is a master plan, and I'm going to turn it kind of over to Joe here and let him talk about the master plan, how it fits into what is called our comprehensive park and recreational plan. There's, it's two separate documents, but we need today this plan, and we're looking for your approval, to be incorporated so it can be added to our comp and rec plan. And ultimately, once it's in that other plan, it becomes eligible for grants and other, other DNR funding opportunities for either uh, Pigeon River restoration or uh, park and open space funding for other activities. So uh, it was a very lengthy process, uh, about almost three quarters of a year. Uh, and again, very collaborative. And I, I, I really want to uh, recognize Joe because his team and his effort with this project has been um, many, many hours, and I uh, want, if you don't mind, I'd like to have Joel sure. then kind of s finalize kind of where we're at and how it's going to be ultimately incorporated in the comp plan. Thank you, David. Um, it's going to really touch basic kind of what David said, too. Um, you know, this has been three quarters of a year. We started working with Grafe uh, in February, so, um, but going back before that, uh, in 2013, is the first time we had a public-private uh, lease uh, with the Quarry Beach. And that's uh, the blow-up items are called the Wibbits. Uh, that's when that was introduced. Um, three years after the opening, uh, we, um, the mayor actually uh, talked to uh, Mike Miller, owner of EOS, and asked if he'd be interested in, in running that facility, and he did. So he's been there for four years. So it's nice to have someone that lives in town, uh, and he's invested. And um, so going back even, in, even before this year, David and I really, in about 2014, 15, thought, hey, you know what? Th this park is gonna need a new master plan soon. Uh, things are happening on the master plans, just like we finished Kiwanis uh, two years ago, master plan. Um, yes, things start moving in, okay? And, and oh, we'll do that here, we'll put that there. You want, a, you want a roadmap, you want a guide, and that's what it is. It's, it's a guide that can be changed and moved around, but at least you have a guide to get you through the future, um, guiding you along the way. Some th great things, great things came out of this plan. Um, the one that never even thought about it was the new rental facility um, to, to, the, uh, to the, the east. Uh, that would just be spectacular. Uh, opening up the views, um, it, it, you start to think, okay, this, this park was maybe underutilized. And it, it, you look at the potential now, uh, that little tiki hut, that, is, that's, that area is, is a great potential for another public-private uh, relationship, partnership. Um, I've already been talking to one person uh, from Door County who runs um, uh, zip lines. It's a, a perfect area and he could base himself, his company, out of there. It's a possibility, it's something to look at. Um, if you look at this picture, how, how everything's kind of pulled away 
from the lake. Right now, the, the um, parking lots kind of go right up to it. Pull it away, give it some green space. Really, that's kind of like uh, one of their thoughts was a, a, an overlook beach um, on top. You know, if you're not going to the beach down below and not paying to get in, you still kind of have that feel of the water and, and whatnot on top. So again, some great ideas. We looked at pedestrian flow, uh, the trails, the river itself. There's a, a, a part of the river that's um, eroding. Uh, so I, I think um, working with Grafe and city staff, uh, we've done a great job. We got a lot of good feedback and I'm hoping we can pass this on tonight. Thank you, Joe. I, I think I, I'm, I'm on the parks community also, and I just, uh, I like to applaud you for all your work and all your efforts on this. This is an awesome plan, and yeah, you need to have something in place if you want to ask, you know, to come up with the money. You got to have the ideas out there, and this is a great idea. There's a, you know, there's a, it's, I guess it's a, a, a wish list to go by, and you know, we, you have to have that. So I, I recommend that we send this on the council so thank you here i've got a couple of questions <clears throat> go ahead thank you uh just two so what currently at the end of pershing uh connects to the park now is there a connection there or is it just like trees uh so that is just a um there there is a um uh, that's where a road stops, um, and, and you ca you can enter there from from from, from 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 like from a bike or from from walking. It's not something you'd enter by a vehicle, and at this point, it's not really something we'd see as a, a, a ever entering by a vehicle. But we'd keep it more to a a, um, a pedestrian bike entry. Thank you. My second question would be about the current number of um, disc golf holes and the proposed future number. Um, I didn't see that when I was glancing over this. Is, is it less or more or the same? Yeah, no, um, maybe, a, maybe a couple less. It's interesting um, going through this process, you kind of find out things you, you never knew before, but at this time there's 20 holes on that disc golf course. Now the reason for that I found out during this process is um, they designed it for 20 because the city kind of said, you know, well, the, the frontage area by Kelly Met might be used for something else. So they planned for 20 just in case they had to take two away. So we have that. I've, I've talked to disc golf people. We have that ability to um, move things around so we'll always have 18. And that's, that's the number we want. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I w just want to share that uh, I'm very much in favor of doing something just like this to this piece of property. Um, it, it'll be a great benefit for our community. So I'm going to be voting for it. Mayor. I was so happy to see the city take a move to put a master plan together for this park. And I really think it turned out well. Uh, when I moved to Sheboygan, I joined the Sheboygan JCs, and during that time, I, I saw this park improve. I was part of the group that remodeled the bathhouse uh, back in the late 80s, early 90s, and, and made it more functional. But I agree that there's other things to consider, and I think this plan is going to come up with a, a new solution for that area. You know, we've seen a, a, a Vita course around there. The ski trails uh, been uh, put through there at times. Some of those things have, um, like the water slide, they had their life. But we're looking for new things that will in, in really make this a, a gem in our community. And I think this is a great plan to, uh, to make that happen. So I hope you'll support it tonight. Thank you, Bear. Hey, uh, Joe? Yep. Or David? Um, I guess just kind of a, a good question that I would have is, you know, what, what, what feedback are we looking from the community and, and folks in this neighborhood um, to, uh, just to kind of pick their brain and, and kind of get a good pulse about um, what folks in the area and their vision is in this community as well. I know some folks in this neighborhood, they've, they've brought in concerns just about traffic and speed. And I know like what, once you get right up the hill, um, there's always traffic issues. And I think, I think those are some things that we should keep in mind as well too. Um, you know, primarily the neighbors are right in this area. What would they like to utilize more? 
as well as other citizens across the city. I don't, we don't have to kind of go in something too deep right now, but I just kind of want to keep that on our radar um, as we're going forward. Yeah, I think through this process, there were uh, uh, several neighbors that did uh, ask questions. Uh, I think one was the, the Persian, uh, Persian entrance area. Um, the nice thing about this and with the neighbors is um, that the disc golf course, uh, which basically, uh, you know, is, it might change a little bit, but not along uh, the, the frontage areas with the neighbors. So that area really is not going to change at all. Um, and then again, we are not looking at vehicle traffic coming from that area, uh, opening that up at all, oh, probably only pedestrian. So that we didn't get any negatives. We got a few questions, and I think we satisfied the, the questions answered. Awesome. Thank you. Do we have any other discussion? Do we have a motion? Make a motion to approve or second it, whatever. Motion has been made and seconded. Is there any other discussions on this? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. We'll send it along to the council. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Resolution 123-2021, uh, November 16, 2020, document 4.6, re resolution authorizing the mayor to sign the reinstatement and second amendment to purchase and sale agreement, extending several dates in the previous agreement authorized pursuant to resolution, resolution number 12 19 20 for the purchase of land from the Union Pacific Railroad Company. David? Uh, yeah, I believe Chad uh, Pelashek will be discussing this and okay. he's on, on the call tonight. Okay. Chad, you online? Yes, I am. So oh. thank you, Chair. And just, this is that Union Pacific Railroad contract we've talked about a number of times in relation to uh, from Pennsylvania to Union. So we've been negotiating for a number of months with the railroad to try to come to a conclusion on what we actually need to purchase. And there's some discrepancies over, after we completed the survey, uh, the railroad had an idea that we were gonna pay for all of the right of way and everything in, that, in the areas around the streets that are already part of public streets and public right of way. Uh, and that's where the 1.2 million came from. Our number is closer to 800,000. So we're optimistic that we're gonna get to a point where we both can agree and we can close this deal. Um, but we're recommending extending the contract for now um, and allow the city attorney's office to continue to negotiate with the railroad to see if we can get them down on the cost a little bit before we close. So this would extend the closing out to March of 2021, and hopefully we can come to an agreement that both parties will align with and we can move forward. Thank you, Chad. Uh, I am uh, also uh, hopefully that this I'm looking forward to this going through. So I really want to see this. I think this bike trail or uh, pedestrian trail will be a great asset to this city. And I hope that we can, we can get this negotiation to go through. I'll move for approval. Second. Motions made by Ryan, seconded by Marcus. Uh, any other discussion on it? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Motion passes. Okay. Resolution 124 2021. Resolution authorizing the purchasing agent to issue a purchase order to industrial marketing and consulting for the purchase of a replacement street sweeper for the Public Works Department. David. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Again, um, this this unit is scheduled for replacement. It's within, included in the 2021 uh, Capital Improvements Program for funding for Motor Vehicle Fund. Uh, with the reason we're, we're, we're expediting it now, getting the paperwork, is because there's such a long lead time, and the current unit is uh, more in the shop more than on the road as we speak. <laughs> So fortunately, we're not doing much street sweeping now with the leaf co uh, collection program ending and um, moving into the snow and ice operations coming up soon. 
Uh, what, we're, what we're proposing here is going with a Timco sweeper. Uh, it's going to replace what we currently have. We have a Schwartz today. It's interesting to note that we did have Timco's about 20 some years ago, probably about 25 years ago when we first got into the regenerative air. Uh, and since then, uh, they've made um, additional improvements. It's a very good sweeper. We've had experience with them. Um, and uh, so we're recommending that uh, we continue um, with down this path um, with Timco as we, when we did our evaluation, we evaluated um, several vendors, probably about five different types of sweepers. And Timco actually came to the top of the list with all the features that we need, as well as with our operators uh, view, as well as um, operability with, with them in the field. So it is our recommendation to go with the Timco sweeper as uh, is being proposed this evening. Thank you, David. Any uh, other discussion on this? Any motion? Sure, I have a question. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, never mind. It looks like you're coming in under budget on this one by a couple thousand bucks. I believe you are correct. We, 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 in, in the budget, it was, um, I believe, 270, 275 roughly, is what, what we're looking to draw from. I, I take that back. It looks like you've got a purchase price here of 275 300 and the uh, budgeted expenditure is oh. 260 Yes, um, uh, the, with the, the budgeted price was 260 but then what we'll do is we're, what we do is when we, we sell off at auction the existing sweeper, we'll make that, then that proceeds goes and, and makes up the gap. That's why, gotcha. that, what so, are you I'm sorry. What, what are you anticipating for that uh, auction sale price? I, I, I'm, we're, we're figuring between probably twenty to 30000 in residual value okay. on the market. Again, okay. it, it, it's, 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 it's market driven, uh, but sometimes I'm, uh, we used to trade, trade vehicles in. And quite frankly, uh, the dealers don't want used equipment. They, they're, they, there's really, they're not, a, they're not into used, they're, they're more into selling brand new. And uh, we've had much, much higher uh, value gains in the, the auction market. Thank you. I'd make a motion to approve. Second. Second. Motions made by Marcus, seconded by, I believe, Rose. Uh, or was it Betty? Betty? Seconded by Betty. Okay. It was me, Betty, actually. Okay. Thanks, Betty. Um, any other discussion on it? All those in favor? Aye. Uh, aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Motion passes. All right. Um, let's see. 3.5 RC number 187-2021, November 16th, 2020, document 5.1, report to the committee to whom was referred RO number 97-2021 by the city clerk submitting a communication from Michael Thomas, president of the Black American Community Outreach regarding Juneteenth Day celebration, recommends the Common Council instruct staff to repair the appropriate document to waive the park rental fee for the Juneteenth Day celebration. Mr. Chairman, we, we would request that this be held in okay. committee. Uh, we, we met with uh, just this evening with one of the representatives and we're trying to schedule a further uh, meeting to sit down as staff first, get more details, yeah. and then give a, a more detailed presentation at, at the next meeting uh, to then allow the committee then to also have some question and answer. But okay. we, we wanted to have the opportunity to sit down with them, go through all the types of uh, planning and necessary permitting up front so that they have a better understanding of uh, what we require of the city as well as what they're going to need to do in terms of coordination so that when we do make a presentation, uh, they have all the, the correct information. So if, you would, if we could sure. hold that for the next meeting. Thank you, David. Do I have a motion to hold? Motion's been made by Ryan. Is that second by Marcus? Okay, uh, any other discussion on it? All those in favor of holding? 
Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. It's held. Next meeting date is December 15th, 2020. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? I'll move to adjourn. Second. Motion is made and seconded to adjourn. Anyone, any other discussion? <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Motion aye. passed. We are adjourned. Thank you.